mechanism of setting and hardening of cement when cement is mixed with water initially it becomes a plastic like jelly mass called as cement paste hydration reaction begins resulting in the formation of gel and crystalline products as c2s that is dicalcium silicate combines with 1 mole of water forming c2s hydrated a gel formation c3s that is tricalcium silicate combines with x plus 1 mole of water forming dicalcium silicate that is hydrated dicalcium silicate a gel and calcium hydroxide a crystal tricalcium aluminate combines with 6 moles of water forming tricalcium aluminate hydrated a crystal tetracalcium aluminoferrite combines with 6 plus 1 mole of water forming c3 a6 h2o and ferric hydroxide a gel and crystals the interlocking of crystals finally by the inner particles of the aggregates into a compact rock like material the process of solidification comprises of setting and hardening of cement setting is defined as stiffening of original plastic mass due to initial gel formation and hardening is the development of strength due to crystallization in the interior part of the mass the strength developed by cement paste at any cost depends upon the amount of gel formation setting and hardening process continues for 10 to 21 days the various compounds that contributes strength of hardening are c3a that is tricalcium aluminate is greater than tricalcium silicate is greater than tetracalcium aluminoferrite is greater than dicalcium silicate in the first day tricalcium aluminate is greater than tricalcium silicate is greater in strength than tetracalcium aluminoferrite again it is greater than dicalcium silicate likewise the reaction will continues at the seventh day tricalcium aluminate the strength becomes greater than tricalcium silicate its strength is greater than tetracalcium aluminoferrite and again than dicalcium silicate at the 28th day c3a that is tricalcium aluminate is greater in strength than tricalcium silicate is greater in strength than tetracalcium aluminoferrite again greater than dicalcium silicate after one year dicalcium silicate becomes greater in strength than tricalcium silicate it is greater than tetracalcium aluminoferrite 
again its strength is greater than tricalcium aluminate. Function of components C3S and C2S are responsible for final strength that is at the end of one year. C2S is responsible for early setting of cement at the seventh day. Tricalcium aluminate is responsible for setting by need of retardation by the addition of gypsum. Fe2O3 and Al2O3 alkalis are responsible for lowering the clinkering temperature. Terms, abbreviations and formula used are C2S it abbreviation indicates dicalcium silicate and its formula is 2CaOSiO2 dicalcium silicate that is 2CaOSiO2 is represented as C2S C3S it is tricalcium silicate having the composition 3CaOSiO2 C3A stands for tricalcium aluminate having the chemical composition 3CaOAl2O3. Finally, C4F stands for tetracalcium aluminoferrite having the composition 4CaO along with Al2 and Fe2O3. Now the last step regarding the cement that is uses. As we know in the modern civilization, cement is one of the most important building material nowadays used in the construction of roads buildings, dams, bridges, flyovers for the construction purposes. It is used in the form of a plaster with sand and water. Cement is used in concrete work again along with cement, sand, water, conkers and steel bars. Coming to the gypsum, as I have told you already, gypsum plays a very important role in the setting of cement. During the final the clinkers Gypsum is going to be added, that is 2 to 3 percent of gypsum is added to the cement. The chemical composition of gypsum is CaSO4 along with 2H2O, that is dihydrated calcium sulphate is called as a gypsum. It is used as a retarder and the use of gypsum in the cement is very very necessary because the addition of gypsum to the powder cement increases the time of setting of cement when it is mixed with water. If gypsum is not added to the cement such cement becomes very hard on mixing with water immediately. Gypsum is a neutral mineral 
its specific gravity is 1.5 to 2 in pure form it is white snow like substance and it occurs in hard solid rocks the next important factor in the cement industry is plaster of paris chemically plaster of paris having the chemical composition cao so4 sorry ca so4 along with half mole of water and it is prepared by heating gypsum at about 110 degree centigrade that is dihydrated calcium sulfate on strong heating at about 110 degree centigrade it forms calcium sulfate along with half mole of water with the liberation of x moles of water caso4 along with half h2o is called as plaster of paris then uses of plaster of paris plaster of paris is used as an architectural decoration it is used as an orthopedic plaster in the surgery for setting of broken bones etc then plaster of paris is used for making various wall plaster wall boards structural tiles etc one month 